Behind the girls and the glitz of Moscow's International Auto Show lies the real excitement that Russia is on its way to become one of the world's top five car markets. With sales jumping in Russia and slumping in Europe this year, Russia could displace Germany in 2014 as Europe's largest car market. That would make Russia the world's fourth largest car market after China, the United States, and Japan. But Russia joined the World Trade Organization two weeks ago. Now, car companies are racing to boost production inside Russia while they are still protected by tariffs. Each of the American big three automakers, Ford, GM, and Chrysler, plan to invest $1 billion in car factories in Russia. No, Ted Canis is president of the Ford Solar's joint venture. You know, because we were the first ones in here uh, 10 years ago, and we were built over 500,000 vehicles here, this is a key core place in Russia, and we see a huge potential for Ford. Nearby, James Bavenzi, General Motors president for Russia, says GM plans to double production in Russia over the next five years. General Motors values the Russian market. We see it as one of the, the big growth markets in the world. To generate buzz in Russia, GM invited Henry Kissinger to its plant expansion ceremony last June in St. Petersburg. With car sales up 14 percent in Russia this year, dealers are struggling to meet demand. Here at a brand new Chrysler dealership on Moscow's Beltway, Chrysler Russia CEO John Steck says the new cars resonate with Russian customers. For a while we couldn't get enough, now we have a better supply and uh, we see this really in the activity in our dealers. And there is room for growth. There is about one car for every four Russians, about half the average for Western Europe and the United States. Chris Weifer, a strategist for Troika Dialogue, says Russian consumers have money in their pockets. It is one of the fastest consumer markets in the world and that's coming on the back of very strong um, disposable income growth, about $8,000 this year, rising projected to about $12,000 in about four or five years' time. So people have more money to spend on consumer goods. Bernard Sutcher, a long-term American investor and sometime Russia critic, comes from Detroit, home of the big three American manufacturers. He's impressed by what is happening in Russia. And have done a pretty good job of encouraging global producers and suppliers of addressing the Russian market on terms that are evidently favorable to the foreign players, uh, but at the same time promise uh, that Russia will retain a substantial manufacturing capacity itself. It's uh, a good story, it's a win-win story, and um, we'd like to see more of that. Now, with all the new cars hitting the streets, the challenge is to build parking and roads. James Brook, VOA News, Moscow.